Well, good morning, guys. It is day two in Moab for us for Easter Jeep Safari. And yesterday was such an incredible day out on the trail. Top of the world with Sean and his family, you driving, the trail conditions. It was amazing. It was a perfect day. Today is Regina and I's only day to do just something for ourselves. We always block a day off for that. So we're gonna go hit a trail that neither one of us have ever done, just the two of us. But first, we're gonna head into town and go grab some breakfast. Over the years, we've eaten at some great places in Moab, but this is the first time at the Canyon Steak and Waffle House. And not only was the service great, but the food was fantastic. I had French toast with crusted, frosted flakes on the outside. Oh yeah, it's as good as it sounds. And Regina had huevos rancheros, which she really enjoyed. I think we'll be coming back here again soon. Breakfast was so good. I, I never would have thought that frosted flakes and crusted French toast would be that good. It was very sweet, but man, it was good. A lot of food, did not eat at all. We are making our way north out of town and we're gonna go run a trail called Seven Mile Rim. This is not a trail that I've ever run before. It's gonna be a little bit milder than when the top of the world that we did yesterday, but still should have some pretty cool obstacles. But what I'm excited most about this trail is it's supposed to have some incredible, incredible views along the way. This should be a great afternoon out on the trail. It was about a 15 minute drive north out of town and the trailhead is easy to find just off of Highway 191. Seven Mile Rim is a 14 mile trail that will take you about four hours to navigate, but we found ourselves stopping several times to soak in the views and took us just a bit longer. Seven Mile Rim is rated as a moderate trail, but there are some difficult optional lines you can take along the way if you're feeling adventurous. This trail is not as extreme as many of the other trails out here in Moab, but it has plenty to keep you engaged along the way, and the trail's terrain changes many times over its 13 miles. The trail starts out with a very steep, rocky climb on a shelf road as you work your way towards the top of the mesa. This is an easy climb up. Just keep an eye out for oncoming traffic, as the trail is pretty narrow. All right, we just got on the official seven mile trail and we are climbing pretty significantly. It's pretty rocky. Uh, hopefully we're not on a shelf road all day, but so far the views are incredible. We can see the Saul Mountains with some snow way off in the distance. Gorgeous up here. For our outing today, I wanted to do a trail neither of us had done before. So in doing my research, I came across the seven mile rim on a map. It said it had moderate rating and great views. But admittedly, that was the extent of my research, so I don't really quite know what to expect today. So far, the trail is a little slow going. It's definitely bumpy and lumpy, but the obstacles are fun. Not super challenging, but just enough to keep it interesting. And of course, the views are incredible. Now, there is a big network of trails out here, and I did make a little bit of a wrong turn because my main navigation system here doesn't have all the small trails, and so I had to actually refer to my phone just to see the, the trail that we were on. We're back on it, but uh, all good. This is gonna be a little bit of a slow go, but I'm not mad about it. This is, a, this is an awesome little trail. Okay, so 
so this one's pretty steep. So I want you to go wide to the right and then kind of turn left driver as you're coming down. It's pretty steep, just take your time. I'm not gonna tip. You could go slow. <laughs> That's not inspiring. stop to take a moment and stretch our legs a little bit and soak in the view. This is a gorgeous viewpoint over here. LaSalle Mountains off in the background. Just gorgeous. What a view. We had climbed just over 700 feet in elevation to reach this overlook and wow, what an amazing view. You can see for miles and miles off into the horizon in all directions. This would have been a great spot to stop for lunch, but it was still early in the day and we were still stuffed from our delicious breakfast. So, time to adventure on and see what else this trail has in store for us today. I mean, just when you think it can't get any more beautiful, you turn the corner and there's just some other spectacular geological formation that is just mind-blowing. I love, love, love this trail. It might actually now be my favorite one in Utah. And speaking of Utah, I think this state is seriously underrated. There's just, I mean, it's beautiful. It's rugged and, I mean, there's natural works of art everywhere. And this is why I love being able to go off-roading and spend all this time with my husband is because we get to see these incredible places together. And, you know, unless you have a four-wheel drive vehicle, you can't get to a lot of these places and enjoy them and just see all the beauty that is around us. Easter Jeep Safari has started and there's actually two groups out here. There's a group here that's going down and there was a Toyota that was stuck at the bottom and then there's an EJS group that's coming up the top. And so this is a cool little section, but the problem is I think we're gonna be stuck here for at least the next hour. And then these guys are going pretty slow. So I think what we're gonna do is there's a little bypass. We're just gonna cut off a little bit of this section. Otherwise, I think we're probably gonna be here way too late tonight. So sometimes that's how it is out here at Easter Jeep Safari. There's lots of people out here having fun. Uh now we didn't realize it until later, but by taking this bypass, we are missing out on seeing the Uranium Arch. So while we ended up not being stuck behind a big group for an extended period of time, we did miss out on seeing a pretty cool formation. So just an excuse to come back, not that I think we need one. We've come to uh, an obstacle here. It's pretty steep, and I think it's definitely a little too steep for Regina being in a two-door. I'm gonna give it a try. We're gonna bring her around the side over there, but just something to wonder about. There's a Bronco sitting at the top here. Nobody's around, so we don't know if they decided to park and go for a hike, or if they're broken. I can say that because I was a Bronco owner. It could be broken. But there were three Jeeps that just came up, and they just hugged right up here, and so we're gonna give it a go. I wanna come up this nice little section right here. So we're gonna do that.
So hon, this is your third year now in Moab. And I would say you've got some pretty good trail crit out here. You've run quite a few. How does seven mile rim stack up to all the others you've done? I think it might be near the top of the list, if not at the top of the list. Yeah, why is that? Because there's like views everywhere. I mean, there's some fun little obstacles and some challenges. It's not a totally easy trail, but I mean, there's views everywhere. This trail is all about the views in every direction. Yeah, it's pretty crazy that you almost have 360 degree views, uh, if not at, at least 270, which is pretty crazy. I, I expected this trail to be a little milder and I'm actually having a blast on this trail. There's some fun little uh, challenges here. Yeah, when you got to go up those big steps where the uh, Bronco was, I don't know, parked, abandoned? Yeah, that was a good one. I, I have no idea where the owner of that Bronco is, but hopefully he's coming back to get it. Yeah, that was such an odd place to leave it. All right, well, we are about halfway done, so we've still got a lot more of this to enjoy. Coming down, nice and slow. There you go, you got it. Guys, it's a little windy out here. We stopped because we want to show you these two rocks, but as we stopped, some very important people showed up. We've got Mark Allen from Jeep, and this is one of the concepts from years past. Is that correct, Mark? Yeah, which which is, one is this? This is one of the lightweights we did a few years ago. This is Stitch. Stitch. Yeah, and uh, yeah, we're just out here. I've got a few of my guys that have never been off-road before, yeah. and we're showing them how to do it. Yeah, that's awesome seeing yeah. you guys out here. I'm excited because we're gonna be driving with you guys here in the yeah. next couple days, but you know, how awesome is it that, you know, not only are you a designer, <laughs> but you're out here using them, having fun. You're an enthusiast. Yep, yeah. we, we have, uh, we've got a few uh, of older concepts, and then we have, uh, I've got a way at work to intercept vehicles that are on their way to the dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Don't so, say that. <laughs> well, it's true, it's true. Uh, we, we have scrap just like any other business. Yeah. So uh, I intercept them on their way to the dumpster, put a little lift on them and a tire, and we use them out here for a little while. And when they break, we throw them away. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, awesome, man. It's so good to see you yeah, guys yeah. out here. Yeah. Well, I don't want to hold your group up, but we'll, we'll see you in a couple days. You. Yep. I think you'll be probably driving this. I can't wait, man. That'd be awesome. One. So, hon, how cool was that? We stopped to check out those two massive rocks on either side of the trail. And along comes the Jeep crew that are getting ready to stage up here for Easter Jeep Safari. And leading the trail run was Mark Allen, the chief designer from Jeep. That's pretty cool. That was pretty cool. And I think you were pretty excited because you love all things Jeep. Yeah, it's totally cool to see them. And uh, I'm excited that uh, they got the concept out here on the trail. And we're going to get to drive those here in the next couple of days. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Cool. So those two rocks, what were they called again? Well, I had to look it up. One is the Monitor and the other is the Merrimack. They're two massive rocks on either side of the trail. And do you remember your naval history and know what those names belong to? Go ahead and, uh, and re remind me. I don't know why they named two massive rocks here in the middle of Utah, the Monitor and the Merrimack, uh, but their namesakes are actually two ironclad 
battleships from the Civil War. They were the first ever battleships that were armored uh, and they fought in the Civil War, which is kind of cool. Yeah, it's just pretty cool that, they, that those are the names and they're not opposite sides of the trail and they're just massive. So that, that's pretty neat. That is pretty cool. Uh, we got a little, uh, looks like a little squeeze section come out up here. It was at this point that the entire trail changed from the dirt and bumpy rocks we had been on all day to some good old smooth Moab slick rock. We're going to be on this for the next couple miles, but we are far from done from tackling all of Seven Mile Rim's challenging obstacles. It's pretty incredible how this trail has just completely transformed. Now we are on some slick rock, still with incredible views, but the terrain is now the typical Moab slick rock. And we're cruising right along, getting a little bit off camber here and there, but gosh, I, I had no idea Seven Mile Rim was gonna be this cool of a trail. I think this is one that we'll be doing again for sure. do it and he has a bigger Jeep with bigger tires and a bigger lift and it looked a little scary to me. Okay. I am now first gear. Okay. Okay. It's okay to slide. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh! Oh my god! <laughs> All of my stuff just went whoosh and fell on the floor. That was scary. Got it. Okay, thank you. Thank God I have the world's best spotter. Oh my god, that was terrifying. driving on top of the world in Brad's Silver JK, the, uh, Wallace. Um, it was fun being able to totally test my skills because it was a difficult trail and I've never done one that hard before. That was a lot of fun and getting to, you know, test myself and learn how to pick lines as I'm going over obstacles was unbelievably fun and it was a great learning experience for me because I'm you know still still relatively new to learning the more difficult trails you know I'm good on on easy moderate trails and Brad's Jeep was perfect for it I don't know that I would have wanted to take my Jeep even though I was dead set on bringing uh, my little yellow two-door to begin with because well it's my Jeep and I love her and I wanted to drive her but 
um, Brad may have been right and that it, it, you know, needs a lift and bigger tires before it's ready to, to tackle things like that, which is fine. Um, yeah, but it was, it was so much fun testing myself. But today's trail is just beautiful and I'm driving my Jeep and I love driving my Jeep because you know just getting to know her better and what she's capable of and what I'm capable of when I'm driving her. So when we said we were gonna have a day just to ourselves <laughs> yeah I, I was just kind of like scrolling around I'm like oh what trails have we not done I'm like seven mile rim sounds interesting I've never really heard anybody talk about it guys <laughs> Come do Seven Mile Rim in Moab. Yeah. It's absolutely worth it. Technical, scenic. So scenic. I mean, just when you think it can't get any more beautiful, you turn a corner and there's just yep. rocks and views and sky and clouds and yeah. it's amazing. And the terrain changed multiple oh, times. Yeah. At one point it was like we were on fins and things. Yeah. <laughs> it was crazy. Uh, yeah, this trail just ranks way up there, guys. I will be doing this one again. Okay, we need to air up. And go eat some dinner, because it's actually a little late. Yeah. And then uh, tomorrow, tomorrow's going to be fun. What are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow we're going to go drive somebody else's Jeeps, some old concepts. Okay. The next few days in Moab were absolutely incredible. And I will leave links down below where you can follow along on the rest of our Easter Jeep Safari adventure. Be sure to check us out over at trailrecon.com for all your off-road adventure needs. Thanks for watching.